Hey good people, this is Shara from Politics and Fashion. And if you are not new around these parts, you know that I love a good basic. I love a good wardrobe basic, a good wardrobe essential, however we want to define it. But those key pieces that we all have that are, I think, the building blocks or the foundations of a great wardrobe. And basics get the not so great title of being boring. And I get it because the finesse is how we put that thing together. The finesse is how we make our basics pop. And I want to share with you today my five favorite accessories to do just that. Get in here. Let's have a chat. Before I get started in today's video, I want to share with you that it is in partnership with my friends over at Song Mox. And I feel like I manifested this partnership because I shared with you all in the handbag trends to watch for this year, the idea that Songmont was a handbag brand that had quite a few bags that I was coveting. Because I believe if you want to make your basics pop, of course, of course you have to have a great handbag. The reason I love Songmont is because it is a contemporary brand that is bringing us great quality pieces, and I'm talking about quality, oh, like back in your throat, quality pieces, okay, at prices that I would consider affordable, especially if compared to luxury handbags. They are 100% leather, but they also have vegan leather options as well. My bags came packaged in a Songmont box with a dust bag, and I will show you what is inside. First up is the Luna bag, the specific style that I mentioned to you in the previous video. I chose to get it in the color ivory, number one, because I think it is delicious when worn with camel, the color that I have on today. And what this bag does for me in this color specifically is add a great pop to those basics because we all know that I love to wear both black in monochromatic looks. And I think anytime we have a pop of white, it does something very interesting to the eye. It is still a neutral, but almost an unexpected neutral. I'm also a sucker for gold hardware, as we know. I really think that the hardware on my handbags, it goes in tandem with the jewelry that I wear. So your eye is like go, go, bam, bam, boom. It's kind of like a sparkle as you are gliding through the institution, okay? It's just gilded. All right, you were just grounding, you were anchoring yourself in this amazing brushed gold, especially in juxtaposition to the drop earrings that I am wearing today. You have it both here on the lock, as you can see, and on the side straps. What I love about the Luna bag, friend, absolutely love, is that you can wear it three ways. So this is one as a shoulder bag, as you can see. Two, as a cute little like croissant situation, all right? By the way, you have the Song Mont logo there in gold as well. So I think this is a cute little vibe, especially for an evening out. I think sometimes we veer away from bags that might be more of like a medium every everyday bag at night. But when you can wear it like this, I think that's really fun. And then if you are out and about running errands, obviously we can wear it with the thick cross body strap. The strap also has a little loop here for an AirPod case, which I love. I'm calling it a guitar strap because it's thicker. It is a bit thinner at the base. And for me, it almost six feet tall. It also can be worn cross body. And you have the option of two prongs here to make it shorter, of course, if you are not quite as tall as me. But this is a great bag. The inside of it, you all, is a microfiber. Let me take the stuffing out. And the inside of it is this very beautiful pop of green as well with one singular pocket. I love it. I was torn between this color and the light green. I'm actually really happy that I got the ivory. Let me show you the next one. Next up is the medium chocolate bag, y'all. I grabbed this because I feel like an everyday handbag that can be worn as both a shoulder bag and a crossbody bag, honey, is worth its weight in gold. Speaking of gold, get into that chunky gold hardware. Again, that's what's going to make your basics pop. It is going to make 
the things thing for sure. I love to also see that little small, what looks like a top handle in front of the crossbody strap that can be worn actually either way in the front or in the back. It is so spacious, the medium size once again. First, let me show you how it opens, y'all. This simply comes down and then there is a rectangular piece that pops inside of this down here. Super secure, great to travel, and it expands. So you have these two like poppers here, one on both sides. Red on the inside, 100% leather outside. You even have two card slots there, which I actually didn't realize, but it will fit a full-size wallet for sure. Sorry if you can hear that. My cleaners are here. And then in the back of the bag is a magnetic pocket. You heard that. This is well made. And I am someone who has handbags at pretty much all price points in my collection. And I know a well made bag when I see one. I recommended this brand to you all for a reason, not even having held one, because I just had the feeling that the quality was going to speak to me in the way that it currently does. I am impressed, and I really encourage you all to hop over to Songmont, take a look at the handbags that they have. This bag, called the Chocolate Bag, once again, comes in many colors, including a chocolate brown that I almost got to chose to go with the black because I needed a black handbag that was going to do what this one does when you crossbody it, which is provide that great gold hardware. So first tip, once again, is to get you a great handbag to make your accessories pop. Let's move on. My second tip is jewelry. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Now I have a whole video about this, you all, that I will link down below. So I'm not gonna get into recommending specific companies besides to tell you what jewelry adds. Now everyone does not have to be into gold. You don't have to necessarily always be into a statement piece, but what I want you to figure out is what works for you. Maybe you are a stud girly. Maybe you just like to wear a little dainty pendant necklace. Maybe you're much more into rings. Maybe you're like me and you love a bunch of piercings. Whatever it is, I think that when our clothing tends to be a little bit more on the minimal or the tailored side, if you're like me and your style pillar is elevated simplicity that I mentioned in my ebook, How to Declutter Your Wardrobe and Curate a Style That You Love, I think that what you may be missing if you think that your wardrobe essentials are too boring, is a jewelry piece here and there. Maybe it is a great time piece. I'm wearing my vintage Gucci watch today. Maybe it is great bracelets. I have on my Cartier Just Done Clue as well as my free maiden bracelets. I have become known, because I can see what people are searching when they look up politics and fashion, for my jewelry. And I think that is so critical for me as clutch because I've always loved jewelry, but also because I know I put the same pieces of clothing in front of y'all all the time. I'm not doing a bunch of hauls. I'm very principled about that. I'm talking about a capsule wardrobe, but you know me because my wrist stays bust down. And that will never change. Because jewelry is one of those things that never goes out of style for the most part, especially if you are investing in things that you love. I have on my Saint Laurent drop hoop earrings today. These were an investment. It's really the only luxury purchase that I have made. It is the only luxury purchase that I have made this year. The only big purchase that I plan to make for some time um, as far as my wardrobe is concerned. But I felt comfortable making that purchase, not in, let's say, another handbag, but a great pair of statement earrings. Because I think if I'm just wearing a white tank top and a pair of high-waisted black culottes, yes, I said culottes, when was the last time you heard that, okay? And a cute little flat sandal, you think I won't hop out here to somebody's brunch with a red lip on, a nice a lip and a lash? And like I said in that video, we lead into the institution with the earrings. We pop up to the table like that right there. Mm -hmm. We do that. Fresh cut. The, the rat tail is doing what it needs to do. So my clothing can actually be pretty minimal because for me, the heat comes from the accessories, 
jewelry being at the top of my list. What is your signature jewelry? Let me know down below. And if you cannot answer that question, it might be why you were not giving your basics their fair due in your closet. Now let's hop into the next tip, which is a belt. Belts will make your basics or your wardrobes essentials pop. And it's something for me that I feel like I really should not have to mention. It should be a no-brainer. In men's styling and dressing, it is so true that most men, especially if they're getting suited and booted, okay, they're going out to a special occasion or a special event. They're going to work in a business casual setting. Most days for masculine dressers, you see them in a belt. The same is not true for women or feminine dressers. And it likely has to do with the fact that so many of our clothing items don't always come with belt loops, sometimes even in pants and skirts, which I think can be a miss. But I get it. Stylistically, we may not think about a belt as a key accessory, but I'm here to tell you that it is. And if you are a girl who loves trousers, if you love denim like I do, a good belt in your collection is worth its weight in gold. Now, I know that I have sold my um, Valentino belt and I shared that with you, that no luxury belts uh, or luxury belts were on my no buy list for this year. I also have the Loewe belt that I would like to transition out of my wardrobe at some point. But what I do have it's just a classic black belt that is leather with gold hardware from Mango. And it is getting the job done, y'all. I'm telling you that if I'm just headed out for a day to go to a co-working spot or to run errands on the weekend, but I want to look a little bit more polished, what a t-shirt or a tank top, a blazer, a high-waisted pair of denim or trousers and a black belt, that black Mango belt is going to do. It makes me look like I'm handling business, but I'm on my day off, if that makes sense, okay? <laughs> it is very just classic Parisian chic, and I love it. All basics I just mentioned to you for an outfit, okay? Today, I actually had on a pair of skinny jeans. I put on my Dolce Vita knee boots. I had an oversized sweater. I took the front and tucked it into those jeans and had my belt so that as I'm walking, you have that little pop of gold. Actually, I still have it on, y'all. You have that little pop of gold that just peeks out, okay? And if that is not an option for you as far as kind of having one signature belt, maybe you're someone who wants to have a few. I completely get it. I'll link some of my favorites down below. But a belt... It's something that you need. I don't want to hear anyone complain about being able to dress up or to style essentials and not have a belt. These are the keys, okay? These are the keys to making your capsule wardrobe or your essentials pop. A belt is definitely on the list. Another one is a scarves. I definitely have gone through my scarf era. I feel like I have like ebbed and flowed. The most recent one I got that I probably showed you all though was my Goyard scarf, the one that matches my Goyard bag, my Vendome bag. It is in gray. I absolutely love it because I have worn this on vacation like around my head as I went ATB riding. I have worn it as a swimsuit cover-up on that same trip, and I've worn it also as a top. A large size scarf, a silk scarf at that can be worn multiple ways, and I feel like it's that kind of piece, especially if you are in an office, that is not thought of enough especially as it goes to a way to kind of electrify or provide a jolt to your business casual wear. So think about this. If kind of your classic day-to-day -day outfit for work might be a button-down blouse and a pair of trousers or a pencil skirt, what would it mean for you to wear a cute little scarf tied in the front? Right? If it's a bandana side, you can always tie it in the front. You can also wear it almost as an actual bandana to wear it these down in the front, if you have longer hair, you're not bald-headed like me, you can wear it in your hair. But the scarf also provides a pop of color to an otherwise neutral wardrobe. I have this beautiful, beautiful red one that I got from Hermes in uh, Las Vegas. I have a yellow one that I got from Hermes on my way to Morocco that I think I got at the Charles de Gaulle airport. I think that's where my layover was. 
Both of these scarves would be great as just key accessories to everyday work wear. Now, casually, maybe that's not for you. Casually, maybe you want to wear it as a belt. Maybe you want to wear it as a tank, as I have mentioned, or kind of as a um, top. And there are so many tutorials, y'all, on Pinterest of how to style scarves. If you just top in how to wear an Hermes scarf, yours doesn't have to be Hermes, for example. If you just type in how to wear an Hermes scarf on Pinterest, so many tutorials come up okay but casually there are options as well but if you were going into an office having a scarf having a scarf collection I think is really really important and I won't even get into like cold weather the function of like a big wool scarf and how that can elevate your coat game I think that's a different conversation for a different day but just as it relates to your day-to-day -day wardrobe I think a good scarf is definitely a key accessory and the last category are hats. I was reminded of this over the summer when I went down to Miami and visited Hats and Hats, a great custom-made made hat shop in Miami. Highly recommend them. You are able to choose your style of hat, and then they do all of these amazing accessories. They even burn your hat, and they kind of distress it. It was a great experience. Hopefully, you saw it in my Swim Week vlog, but... I think having a great hat, a great fedora, especially a Ruslan Baginski or that style of like paper boy cat as well, a baseball cap. We've been talking about those ad nauseum here on this channel, of course, okay? Are all great items and great ways to make your basics pop. I know for me, whenever I am getting ready to leave the house, there are a couple things that I try on. It's kind of the last thing to see if I need to make that the thing that's going to make the outfit do the thing. It is going to be a belt. So my black belt if I'm wearing something that goes with that. And it is going to be a hat. And if it's a casual fit, it's going to be a baseball cap for sure. And there's something that a baseball cap does for me that I've shared with you all before. And I think my spring outfits video, it makes your outfit seem very irreverent. Especially if you're wearing something that may be a little bit dressier on the bottom. I think Carolyn Gray, hey sis, hey, does this beautifully. I love to see her with like a Yankees baseball cap on and a fur coat. It just looks so wealthy to me. It's so unbothered and so chic at the same time. I mean, we we could have got into the the fur. We could have gotten into the Dylan Lex, the jewels. We could have gotten into that. But she said, let me go ahead and just put this, put this fitted on, put this snap back on on y'all. It is style. It is fashion. I don't even have a way to describe it. It's um umami. Is that what it's called? It's kind of like that taste or that flavor that you know it when you have it. And it's like that, yes, that's the thing. That is what we come here for. And a hat is going to do it again. A fedora, a straw hat, a paperboy hat a baseball cap. These are all great things to add to your wardrobe when it comes down to making your wardrobe essentials pop. And that is it, good people. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know which accessory is your favorite to add to your wardrobe essentials or what do you think you're missing? What from these five categories are you like, oh, that's the thing that I need to add expeditiously to my wardrobe. I would love to know. Check the description box for my song mock phase as well as any other phase that I may have mentioned in this video. Make sure you're following me all across the internet and I will see you good people in the next video. Peace.